All right, here, I'll hand this out. All right, so warm-ups on the whiteboard. So it's asking you, one, number one says to draw an image that is not a function with the domain that is listed and the range that is listed. Yes, sir. All right, so it tells you how far left you need to go, how far right, up and down. All right, you need to draw an image that fits that description, and it's not a function. Number two is asking you. All right, so if you forgot here, a function would be something, your line, the vertical line test is only going to touch it once, right? Non-function, yes. So you are drawing an image not a function with the domain of negative 2, and the positive 3. Yes, right here. Sorry. All right, get out of your way so you can see that. All right, so the first one can't touch twice. Right. No, it does touch twice. It's not a function, so it needs to touch twice. Range, yeah. Remember, domain is left or right. Range is going to be down and up. So your range is going to go down to negative 1, up to positive 3. Your domain is going to start over at negative 2 and move to positive 5. All right, so it's got to be some kind of picture. That'll fit here. Well, you want to do on both? Yes, you're doing one and two. Oh, yeah. You're drawing both, number one and number two. Number two, you have to draw something that is a function. So we should only be able to draw a vertical line through it one time. Don't worry about that. Just look at the numbers. Negative three and positive four, zero and positive five. I didn't hear you. What? All right, good talk. All right, so let's put a timer on it. Think we can get done next minute? No. Right, well, let's try it. left. Sure. Do I just like line it up? Not a so you could line it up, but make sure it, re it meets all of those descriptions. So your domain is right, your range is right, and we can be able to touch it twice with a vertical line. It's all right if your thing is wrong here, if your picture is wrong. Don't worry about that. You can still get full credit if your thing is wrong. Don't worry about the grade part. All right, there's a couple kids in my first period that didn't have it either. Here, let's add another minute. Some people are still working here. A couple are still drawing. I don't know how to draw it. Well, what things could be not a function, Keegan? Would a circle be a function? No. No. So a circle could fit in these dimensions. No, don't worry about the vertical line. Oh. No. Yes, James. Not a function. Yes, that would work. All right, 15 seconds, and then we're going to look at some people's work here. Kill this front light.
All right, who thinks they've got one that works for number one? Go ahead, James. Ball it up and throw it to me. No, really. Crumble it up and throw it up here. This might help me out. All right, let's look at James. Wally don't want to communicate here. That's what it looks like. All right. So let me highlight his. You can't hardly see it with the pencil. There's a bunch of options. No, yours doesn't have to look like this. All right, let's just look at it here. All right, if we're talking about number one, so it's not a function, and the domain has to be between negative two and positive five. So let's look at this. Would this qualify if we're talking about just the domain part? No. Why does this not meet the description? Negative 2 to positive 5. So does that work if we're talking about just the domain? Yeah. yeah. We start at negative 2, and as far right as we go, it was positive 5. So the domain is right. All right, let's talk about the range. We got That would work. So now, would this be considered a function, though, safe? Okay, why is it not a function? No, it doesn't have to be a straight line. What about the vertical line? Okay, so can a function be something other than a straight line? Yes, so does that matter that this is a. No. James, why is this not a function? Line, if we line here, straight down, we could touch the blue line twice, right? We'll touch the bottom. Anytime we can touch twice, it's not a function. All right, let's look at his picture for what is a function. All right, so the description says the domain needs to go out to negative 3 and positive 4. Does his image meet these requirements? Yeah. Yes. How about the uh, range, safe? From 0 to positive 5, does it work? Yeah, because it does have the Yes, it starts on the bottom, and we work up to positive 5. All right, the last question here. Would this be considered a function? Yeah. Yes. You said no first. Jordan, what are you thinking? <laughs> At what point would this touch twice? No point. What if we went horizontal, though? Right? Would it touch twice this way? Well, it's called the vertical line test. Would a horizontal line work for a vertical line test? No. So it doesn't matter if you can go horizontal. So, yes, James is right. Both of his are right. Somebody else who thinks they've got two examples here. Can I get an eraser? Can you get an eraser? Yeah. Sure. Grab it out of the top. Jalen, let's see what you got. Did you draw two? Bold strategy. Didn't know it was supposed to draw it. Who else thinks they've got one that'll work? Either one. Do you have one that works for not a function? All right, throw it up here. Let's see if it works. It's all right if it's wrong. Safe, be the relay man. Cut this off and throw it to me. Circles could work if it meets the descriptions. Okay, so let's see it. Our domain's got to go from negative 2 to positive 5. Does this work? Are we at negative 2 to positive 5? No. No, right? This one out to negative 3 and positive All right, what if we had drawn a circle could still work. What if the domain had worked here? So we went 0. What do we got? One. All right, what if it was this circle? Ignore this bottom line. That shouldn't be there. What if it was this circle? Yeah. Right? Are 
It doesn't reach all the way out. Go back to James. Yeah. Which one? The non. Okay. What about it? What do you got, Jalen? Anybody else got something they want to show up here? Yes, this would work, Jalen. All right, let's look at Jalen's. Not sure what image this is, but does this work? Okay, Jalen, explain this, this whole picture to us. How does this meet? Yeah, come on. If you take this, uh, if you take my hand right here and you go through it like this, it's going to go through it twice, every, like, uh, every time. All right, so your vertical line, anywhere yeah. you moved it, yeah, would touch twice. It, okay, touch does twice. it meet your domain and range? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so if, if you were asked, you got an issue back here? All right, so he's right, this would work. If you've got something that's asking you to draw something that is not a function, and it gives you the domain and range, you can put a dot on each one. All right, so that ensures that you're making it out to each point of the domain and range. And if it's not a function, you just connect your dots in a big circle. It doesn't matter, All right? Because we're going to cross twice. All right, questions, comments, concerns on the warm-up? No, we're good? All right, let's talk about... Can I look at yours? Sure, throw it up here, make it quick. Isn't that the same thing we just looked at? No, okay. All right, no, let's look at it, though. So this is a good point. All right, so his domain goes out to 5 and 2. That's right, positive 3. It goes a little deeper, safe, right? We're only trying to go to negative 1. Your dot is on negative 1, but then you circled below it, right? If you would have drawn, if you could have drawn a straight line here across, yes, yours would have worked. Okay, so yeah, right concept. Just drew it a little, a little bit sloppy on the drawing part. All right, you can leave it. I'll turn it in in a second. All right, no, nah, you're fine. We'll collect everything else at the end. So I'm gonna hand these out. Let's talk about the word problems one more time. Bet you want on the camera? It won't spin that far. It will. There you go. Feel safe. Go, Bradley. It's all right. We made it back. All right, let me set, set a timer so we can stay on pace here. All right, so number one, or the only problem here, so we're talking about Blake and his weight again. So Blake is trying to keep track of his weight for the last 36 weeks. So we're going to let the function f of t represent his weight in pounds at the time he measures his weight for T weeks. All right, so let me zoom out a little bit so we can see the whole thing. What are some key things out of this question, though? What do we need to know? 36 weeks. 36 weeks. Why is that important there? Jordan, you're right. It's not our starting point. What else could it be, though? It's the ending point. So he's done measuring... So ending at 36 weeks. What else is important here? What are we measuring by? Pounds. Pounds and for how long? Yeah, but what is T representing though? Let me be more specific. Number of weeks. It says his weight in T weeks. So T equals weeks. All right, so we're going to measure out Blake's pounds per week for 36 weeks. All right, what is the domain of the function? What is domain asking us here? Like the domain right there. Which means what? It's a span of, do what? Yeah, left to right, so like it's x value. So if we were going to graph it out, all right, so say we 
decided to make this a graph, we'd have to have a starting point and an end point, right? We have to start over here somewhere, and this will be weeks, because it's our domain, it's our x values. All right, so do we know the max, the maximum amount of weeks? 36. All right, so we know we're not going to go over 36 weeks. All right, so are we talking x values or y values, Keegan, if we're talking domain? X. So X has got to be less than or equal to 36, right? We can only go up to 36. Need one more thing, though, safe. How can we measure something? You have to have a reference point, right? A starting point. How do you represent a starting point, Ashley? Zero, right? Week zero would be our starting point. All right, so our domain is going to be from zero to 36, right? Somebody throw this in their own... Own words, explain this to us. What is this domain representing? What does it mean? What, is it, what does it mean here? Why do we care about 0 and 36? It is the domain. Okay, so explain it. All right, so 36 is the... There you go. All right, so Blake... will measure his weight from week zero, which was his starting point, till week 36, which is our end. All right, so at any point here, if we graph this out, we should be able to say, okay, well, what... At week, whatever, 5, that's in between 0 and 36, we should be able to find where he weighed if we look at all the data, right? Can't see it all. Mind your way. Yes or no on the domain part? No. Don't know what, how to do that? Do know how to do that. All right. All right, so part B. Part B says that Blake tells you that for f of t, so for our function about his weight, that f0 equals 185. What does this mean in everyday language about Blake's weight? He is, that's how much he weighed. Okay, so yeah, how do you know that, Sean? What, that, what part of that represents that's how much you weighed at the beginning? f0 means that's his starting point, right? So, knowing F0 equals 185, we can say that Blake, oh, I just wrote black, Blake um, weighed 185 pounds at the starting point. All right, so give you a second to write that. Yep. In the first one, Keegan? Are you on two? All right. All right, so part C, Jalen, what's it asking us? Blake tells you that F for 18 equals F for 24. What does this mean in everyday language? All right. Anybody here want to take this one? Ashley, go, and then Keegan, you can build off this. Uh, okay, she said at 18 weeks he'll weigh 24 pounds. Keegan, what are you thinking? She said at 18 weeks, F of 18, that he'll weigh 24 pounds. 
What do you see? What are you thinking? What does it say? You changing your answer? Yeah. All right. So, anybody else agree with Keegan? Yeah. To go from 185 to 24, that's a big jump in in a couple weeks. All right. So, so Keegan's right here. If it says F18 equals F24, we know that Blake. Yes, weighed the same in week 24 as he did in 18. All right, we have no idea what he weighed, or that has nothing to do with it, really, with that question. We just want to know what is that, what is it saying when function 18 and 24 are the same? All right, everybody with me on that? That makes sense? All right, so they said equal to each other, we know. Now, part D, we did not see a question like part D yesterday. All right, so D says, what if Blake tells you F2 equals 176? What can we conclude about this information and explain? Ashley, try again. Let's hear it. Okay, after two weeks, he'll weigh 176 pounds. What else can we conclude about this? Yeah, there's something else. Yeah, he's lost weight. He's lost weight. How did you know, Jordan? Uh, You're right. So how did you know? Starting week zero, in or week zero, sorry, was 185. Now week two is 176. All right. So how much weight has has Blake lost here in the two weeks? Nine pounds. All right, so that's what we can conclude here. We can say that Blake has lost nine pounds over the two weeks. All right, we feel comfortable with being able to do that. All right, proficiencies next week. So that you will see something very similar coming back at you again. Yes, fair enough. All right, any questions before we, before we go on? Everybody feels comfortable. All right, let's talk about this. We're going to go with the iPads. All right, so Jalen's going to hand them out to you. I'll say, I'll tell him what number to give you. All right, so we're going to use Kahoot. Let's talk about, go ahead and expectations. I know we've mentioned them. All right, so if you've got a drink with you, keep it on your desk. Keegan, we don't need any. Any uh, drinks across the iPads? Two, stay on the same website. All right? Stay on the same website. Don't be going off to YouTube or whatever else you like to look at during this. All right. So just go straight down this row. I'll write the name down. Don't take one. Start at two. Yeah. So two, three, four, five. So Chris and then Sarah. Here, Ash, why don't you come get two for you and so six and so take six and seven for you and Bradley. All right, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, go across the back row. So Lachelle, um, Jamaica, and Delvon. Ashley, will you help me still? All right, so he did the back row. So then um, just take the three across the front and then delve on, or and then uh, safe. 11, 12, 13. So where's 11 again? Um, Josebet, Yelena, Isabel, and then 14 to safe. We didn't give Keegan one? Okay. Okay, 14. So, what was that? Elena, Isabel, safe 15. Let me put that on the board. 
Yeah. Yes. All right. So some people. Sorry, I should. Here, you fill this out. Just write the number and then their name. All right, if you're on Kahoot already, so you, if you're getting your thing, go to kahoot.it. Here is the code you'll type in. Put your name. Don't put whatever, Bradley93 or whatever other nicknames you can imagine. All right, some other things. People, sometimes you'll open up your screen. There's going to be somebody's face there. Don't. Don't take selfies. Don't make me have to write you up for taking selfies. It's a school device. Well, I can. No, put your name. All right. What's wrong with yours? No, don't worry about it. Just go to the internet. You know who that is? That's um, the JCPS guy that's like over the, the area. Yeah. Your what? The, the pins on the board. All right, once you get to that home screen, hold the, let me see that real quick before you type it in. All right, once you get to this screen here, you are putting that code in on yours so that you can be signed in. Then it's going to ask you for your name or nickname, whatever. Just put your regular name into it. I don't need your Instagram account or your Snapchat or whatever. Nobody's going to follow you from a Kahoot game. James is 23. All right, so we should have 24. We've got five people signed up. There's six, seven, eight. Put slick. No, yours is on there. We've got eight people. Soccer 12. Okay, what part of no nicknames? <laughs> James, is your name on here? Or did somebody put that? Okay. It's his last name. Let's go. This is taking too long. Keegan and, and uh, Farler, you're great to exit. Safe, clean it up. You're going to uh, whatever, Kahoot. It. All right, we've got 17. We need 22 or 24. We have 24 in here. Nineteen. Who are we waiting on? Okay, we got twenty-three. Twenty-two. We got twenty. Holy Jalen. Who's K? Right there. Here's your number. I was done with that. 
Oh, we got. There's one more. Who keeps signing back out? We keep going from 22. Oh, yours, for, yours went out. Is Del Vaughn? Del Vaughn. Are you Yeah, Del Vaughn was like the first person. It's Jose Betts. It kicked her out. That's how you spell safe. All right, once Jose Betts logs in, we'll... Keegan and Farley, bring me yours and go ahead and exit. Oh, yours is still on green sheet. Uh, Keegan, see you. I had mine as K. Yeah, you did. I had mine as, I've had mine as five Okay. Except that it just said Keeg. Yeah, and then I just came to Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. So it's going to ask you the first question here. Domain of the following relation. All right, so it's going to give you a picture. Here we go. Um, oh, my 